this is a vertical wind turbine what I want to do in this short video is to have a look at what it is how it's made and how it works let's have a go this vertical wind turbine consists of some vanes and a top and a bottom. Now if we take it completely to bits what we've got at the bottom here are a couple of ring magnets. These ring magnets are just connected to two terminals. There's no other workings in there. We've got a vertical shaft that will rest on that pole and allow it to spin. At the bottom we've got two sets of magnets, two north magnets and two south magnets and they are 90 degrees apart from one another. Now let's have a look at this wind turbine and I can set it up in several different modes. This one we're quite lucky that we can set it up with either two, three or four turbines. There we are, we're set up with two vanes now, two turbine blades and these we're going to connect to some LEDs. Right, let's just turn the wind on and see what happens. And we've got enough wind here from that large fan to get this to spin quite fast and we've got our LEDs lit. To give an idea I've got a small fan here that is being blown by a large fan. If I turn it at 90 degrees it won't work and if we look at the amount of power put out by this little vertical turbine not really enough to move it not really enough at all so it's not putting out enough energy. Right, let's just turn the wind off and we'll set this one up with three blades. On this particular setting of this Horizon model we can use the blue blades, blue markers for two blades and we can use the red markers for the three blades. So I'm going to move these to the red position which will give us three blades set up equally spaced. Now the logic behind this is if two blades catching so much wind then the three blades should be able to capture a bit more wind. There we've got the setup and we've got it plugged in. So if we turn on the fan again, it starts to pick up speed and our lights start to flicker. Because of the design of this, it won't go and produce any more electricity. So if I try this motor, just to prove that fact, if I now try and connect it with three blades, barely any more electricity not really 
running very well. Just not quite enough, enough electricity to power that. So we'll turn the fan off and we'll mount the fourth blade in place. We're now going to use the yellow setup of having four turbine blades. I suppose really there is no limit to the number of blades that you could set up on one of these depending on how much energy you want to try and get but in fact it seems that about two to four seem to be about the most effective so I'll lock them in place So there's my four blades positioned, I'll plug it in and then we'll turn on the fan again to see what happens. And again we get the spin up to a quite reasonable speed. On the camera you see a slightly different effect caused by the shutter on the camera so you see sometimes this revolving slightly differently than I can just see it but we've got here a fair amount of electricity being generated we've got the LEDs shining quite brightly let's see if we've managed to make any more electricity and you can see that this is still about as effective as it was before nearly enough electricity being made but then this is a really small motor so it requires very little power to get going and this thing doesn't produce an awful lot of electricity. Uh, sample ones that I've had a look at to go on my roof would produce enough to make a 100 watt light bulb to be lit under optimum conditions uh, that's one old light bulb. Now in my house I've got LED bulbs so I could probably power about 20 or so of those but it's still not very much. This used in conjunction with solar panels might be a more effective solution. This only works when the wind is going. When the wind is turned off like this then it doesn't work anymore. It's got some residual movement but my LEDs are getting dimmer and in no wind this will stop and it won't move much at all. It will work in a fairly light wind. Me blowing is enough to get that moving but it's not enough for it to generate sufficient electricity to light the LEDs. These will work in lower wind conditions. They are smaller, they're more compact than their larger cousins and probably safer. And this can be scaled up for its larger cousin to be sort of on a wind farm and these have enormous veins but still quite thin and still in this basic style of having these blades set to try and capture the wind and getting the angle for this right affects the design considerably. 
frictions are being part of one of these as well. We have to have the friction down as low as we can to get this to spin as well as we can. But that then limits the type of generator we can have at the bottom. So our vertical wind turbine, this one made by Horizon Educational, is a good way of having a look at a vertical wind turbine to compare that with others that you would see and possibly be more familiar with. This requires more power, this requires yeah, more power, more wind speed and this one will work in every direction and this one is a bit more limited. Good for home, better for wind farms.